Hey guys, Hannah here. Alright, I'm bringing to you guys the F9F-2 Panther Review and Tactics. Now in this episode, I plan to talk a little bit about the history of the F9F Panther, as well as move into strengths and weaknesses of it, and then move on from there to cover some of the tactics to use with this aircraft. Now Grumman originally started working on this aircraft for a contract for a night fighter that the Navy wanted. However, it did not win the contract. The Sky Knight actually won that by Douglas. However, the Navy did see that there could be some problems with that aircraft in the future, as well as they, they still enjoyed the Panthers concept and they decided to take it on anyways. Another cool fact about the Panther is that whenever they were first in the prototype phase, they put in a Rolls-Royce Neen engine into the aircraft. Now this is the same engine that's actually in a MiG-15. It's a really powerful engine. And because of its size being so massive on the interior of the Panther, they didn't have room for fuel in the, in the body. So, that is the reason why you have these wingtip mounted fuel pods which also added to the aircraft's ability to roll better. However, this engine, they did not stick with it during the production phase. They actually moved on to an even more powerful Rolls-Royce engine, the Tay. Whereas the Neen pulled off about 5,000 pounds of thrust, the Tay pulled off 7,700 pounds of thrust. This by far actually makes the Panther have one of the best engines in the game. But because of its lack of swept wing design means that it cannot reach the top speeds that the other swept wings can. So from this you can already probably distinguish some strengths about this aircraft. That it has a high thrust output means it accelerates very well and that it rolls very well. Added to this is the firepower of the aircraft. Now most of the aircraft that this aircraft comes up against are running either 50 calibers or 30s, 37s, and 23s. Now the great advantage to these 20s is that they don't have as much of a drop as most of these other rounds, except for the 50s having a little bit better uh, lack of drop to them. However, they pack more of a punch. And the rate of fire is very consistent with a high burst mast and the 760 rounds can last a good while, which is very, very nice about this Panther's armament compared to other aircraft's armament. Another advantage to this aircraft is that it actually has a very high reten energy retention rate. So, whenever you go into turns and everything, it doesn't really lose a whole lot of speed, and the speed that it does lose, the acceleration that it has can more than enough put you back up to towards top speed pretty quickly. However, this aircraft still has some drawbacks. One of the most important drawbacks is that whenever you try to yaw with the aircraft, which is the left and right movement of the aircraft, the nose does not want to move that much, especially at higher speeds. And whenever it does finally move, it kind of kicks and jumps over. You know, it doesn't move smoothly. It's kind of like a B-25 Mitchell's bomber's uh, nose yaw yaw nose yaw movement. It, it it's kind of sticky in a in a little way. And if you're unaware of this and don't keep it in mind whenever you're fighting, you're going to run into problems. Another downside to the Panther is this battle rating. This the very first Panther has a battle rating of 8.3. This is actually a very high battle rating. It throws this aircraft into fighting with every jet there is that is above a 6.7 battle rating. So you will be facing anywhere from 162s to Canadian Air Sabres. And one other advantage that the Panther does have that I did forget to mention before now is that it can pretty much outturn every jet that it comes across outside of meteors. With this being said, let's move on to the tactics phase. 
Now, whenever you're going against uh, aircraft that cannot out accelerate the 262, you can pretty much press on them and outmaneuver them. However, a lot of times you're going to find yourself in a situation with top tier energy fighters, the swept wings, that are going to be able to out accelerate you. During these moments in time, you're going to have to use your maneuverability to dodge them quite often and try to catch shots at them as they pass by. Now, one of the best tactics that, that needs to be portrayed with this Panther is that, one, it's a very, you have to play it very aggressively. And you should, at any time possible, try to head on everything that you come across outside of 262s and enemy meteors for the very rare occasions that you are against the meteors. The meteors have 20 mils just like you, four of them, so they're just as nasty and accurate. However, the 262s are not as accurate, however, their extreme burst mass and just be getting caught by one stray 30 is enough to do you in, in most cases. Even though this is a very rugged jet compared to most jets, I still do not recommend heading on 262s. 163 you can head on because they have a very slow or slow rate of fire between each gun and there's only two of them so chances are you can actually take them out before they hit you. And we'll cover that a little bit more in a future clip. So in the Panther like I said you gotta play it very aggressively. You know and you generally want to actually head on your opponents. Why? Because normally you will win this head on. Doesn't mean you will always get that victory. And even whenever you end up on the defensive, you need to be able to ready to go and chase after aircraft as soon as you can. Whenever they make their mistakes. Don't be afraid to fire off several rounds towards your opponent because it's actually a small amount of ammunition that you're firing compared to other F that you might be used to, especially the ones with the 50s. And also, don't be afraid to use your WEP and overheat the engine. As you can see, the engine went from orange to red. You can keep weapon even in this state for a pretty good while before you'll even get a two minute warning. And amazingly with this energy retention in the aircraft, once you start getting the countdown, that's when you should be a little concerned at that point. If you get towards a minute remaining on that countdown, you can throttle back to zero, keep your nose at the horizon or lower, and maintain your speed without the engine is running long enough to cool your engine, or, yeah, cool the engine back down. In this particular clip that we are watching right here, I believe I'm the last remaining aircraft on my team, and the enemy team has nothing but swept wings remaining, and they are just trying to swarm all over me. Now, this doesn't mean that you want to give up on attacking them, and my rounds are just going over him, just barely. That was, I didn't pull my nose down enough. Making him overshoot, but I'm getting right on him. Playing defensive, but highly aggressive. Now, I, I don't like the Panther as much for a preliminary jet fighter, just because of its battle rating. I think that a lot of uh, newer jet pilots can run into trouble with this aircraft and the reason being is that as we're tending to learn how jet fighting works and getting used to that, um, you tend to play a little bit more cautious and cautious can lead to a lot of problems. If you play too cautious, you're going to find yourself being overwhelmed, kind of like in this situation. Even though I, I did not play too cautious to get here, I just our team had 
only one swept wing and the rest of us were Panthers versus their whole team of swept wings. So it was just kind of an unfair advantage for some of us. However, I really feel that our Panthers still should have stayed alive much better than this. But maybe they did not have enough points in their awareness and their pilot skill, which is another thing that I suggest that you do if you're going to be flying your Panthers. Up that awareness skill a lot. Now, my shot was a bit off here, but had it not been bit off, and had he not actually caught me on fire, I probably would have came out of this pretty unscathed. Now, as far as preliminary aircraft go for every nation, I would say that the Panther is the best out of all of them far as flight characteristics however I like I said before I just don't feel that it's a very good preliminary jet I wish there was something just before the Panther to help you ease into jet combat and playing aggressively is key I know that I'm rehashing about playing aggressively in this aircraft, but it is just, it, you have to. Otherwise, you're not going to have too many opportunities to take down enemies. Bam! He's down. This is a, actually a good clip right here. So I do a head on with the highest aircraft, the biggest threat. Now I'm moving on. Moving on to the next target. I was thinking he was going to do a head-on, but then he kept his nose down. So I got a little clip on him there. A lot of energy now. And I'm catching up to this 262. He's done. Now I'm moving back for the Canadian Air Saber again. He is forcing a head-on this time, and he is down as well. <laughs> such a fun fun match on that battle all right this 163 is pressing ahead on now at this time I rolled out of the way and I really kind of shouldn't have at that point I should have stuck to my guns on that one Saber. Now he did it smart because I have enough altitude he just keeps going a good ways and he's already really out of gun range. But like I said before you got a lot of ammo so don't be afraid to take some shots at your opponent. You don't really shoot off a whole lot of rounds in a very short burst. And those 30s just whiz by me. They're such slow rounds. <laughs> they really are. Alright, so let's do a quick rehash on on the Panther. Now the Panther, as I said, it's got a high acceleration. It retains its energy really well. Don't, one of its only downfalls really is that it's you know, it doesn't have swept wings, so it does not have that high top speed. It has high roll rate, and it has a very good turn rate. You know, um, if in the rare situation you do find yourself up against meteors, you can outturn them for just a moment, getting them into their turn, and then once they start turning, now you're going to have to commit to, you know dumping your energy in a steep dive and if you cannot pull off a steep dive then you're gonna have to basically 
do a radial turn or something and then try to run it out because you will have higher energy but they have high acceleration alright guys I hope you enjoyed the video if so give me the big thumbs up and subscribe for future content to come good hunting I know that there is a lot of confusion about six two and everything. And also, why this thing know, is even back fighting home, it. It's it's a very Korean War fighter. Yeah, but if World War Two had been going, reminds me of uh, Spanish macro. <laughs> so, you know, and then towards the point right before stall, the F-86 Star is a entry level jet, depending on the aircraft, the American Army Air Force side. I think that's what.